Nekomata. Seeing as you're ready, let's not waste any time. I'll go over how we sort our videotapes, and you can get to work. Huh? Work? Hang on a minute. Didn't you agree on a commission to take me and a Klein into a hollow? Didn't your message say Nicole wanted you to work here to pay off your debt? That's not what I meant! I was talking about working down in the hollows. It might look like she has a bank account where a conscience to be, but Nicole has been pretty good to me. Sorry for the misunderstanding, but seeing as we're going down into a hollow, shouldn't the rest of the cunning hairs be here too? I came up with this commission myself. I'm not sure how to put this. Before, I got everybody into a real pickle with vision, but Nicole still asked me to stay. Now that the cunning hairs are in the red, I think it's time for me to see what I can do! Hustling side gigs to make ends meet while the boss can't afford to pay out wages. How admirable. <laughs> well, ever heard of a fortune cat? And once I get back from this gig with my pay, I'm gonna make the old poker face say, Nekomata, you really are the very motto of a cunning hair. I thought you and Anvi had made up already. It's not about making amends. It's about the competitive mindset of professionals. Being at Gentle House is a job after all. Besides, even street gangs have performance metrics these days. How bad it, Faithin. I've got a lucrative commission set up. You want in? Give me the details on this commission first. No problem. Here's the situation. There's this company that lost a bunch of etheric resources down in a hollow. They're recruiting skilled agents and proxies to do some field surveys down there, in the hopes of one day retrieving it all. Sounds easy enough. But field surveys aren't usually a terribly lucrative commission. <laughs> Relax. This is just the first step. Think about it. The company needed to find help on Internaut just to run some field surveys. When it comes to the official recovery later on, they'll definitely be looking for more. Oh, I see what you mean. Resource recovery definitely pays well. I expect people will be fighting over who gets that commission. But if we've already worked with them before, then we'll be their first choice. We sure will. That's Faithin for ya, razor sharp brains. You gotta cast out a long line to catch a big fish. So, you interested in the commission now? So, what about our payment? Split it, 50-50. How about it? Pretty good, huh? I'll go confirm the place in time with the client, and then we can get straight to it. I only handle tech. Nothing to fear. The cunning hairs are here. I only handle technical matters. Mm. Time for some tail care. Master, this time I am a limited edition version of Fairy. Fairy Cat, at your service. Please follow the guide to the end of the route we're surveying inside the hollow. Fairy Cat suggests you find the guide first. Meow. Your virtual assistant is getting on my nerves. That guy is our guide, right? Hi. You're Nekomata, right? Allow me to, um, introduce myself. I'm Ollie, and I'm in charge of this operation. Operation? This is just a field survey. Is it, like, a trend for companies to use fancy names? <clears throat> I mean, this time at least, I'm your client. Yes, client and guide. <laughs> Speaking of which, our proxy isn't here yet? Uh, we're both right here? Miss Nekomata, please don't kid around. It's... it's just you and me here. No others? He doesn't seem to realize this bamboo right under his nose is a proxy. Ollie, 
I'm the other one. Ah! Who, who's there? Meow! My ears! Sorry I wasn't clear before, Ollie. But please, keep Thyron's hearing in mind. So, as you can see, this talking Bing Boo is our proxy. Ooh, is that so? <laughs> My bad. Whew, well, that was embarrassing, letting you see that side of me. But I promise I'm still a reliable guy. Please, lean on me. Just as much as I'm leaning on this stalagmite right now. See, chatting and laughing so freely like this, while being so close to an ether crystal? Whew, that's more than enough to demonstrate my aptitude for it. Did the crystal just move? Oh, don't tell me! Oh, it's one of those inactive sleeping at the... It's just an inactive ethereal. <laughs> Seems he's not paying attention to anything right now. Uh, well, let's take care of the ethereal first and talk after. Let's get rid of these ethereals first. I was blown away by your heroism just then. I'm glad to hear it, but in the future, could you please not wander aimlessly around the battlefield so much? I don't want you to get hurt. When I read the notes for this job, I assumed you'd be a little more... composed. I didn't expect companies would have such different requirements for hollow surveyors. <laughs> uh, d diversity is... it's highly valued by the company. <sighs> Fine. I'm really not the best at dealing with ethereals. But I, I, I've got a, you know, a few tricks up my sleeve when it comes to recovering etheric resources. Really? Then I guess I'll trust you. Well, since you mention etheric resource recovery, there's no sense hiding it. What we really want is to help support your resource recovery business in the future. So if everything goes smoothly today, could you have a word with your boss and help us get in on the follow-up commission? Oh, um, yeah, of course. No problem, just leave it up to me. <laughs> We're counting on you, Mew. Tell you the truth, I've been planning on switching careers recently. Working for a big, fancy company like yours ought to pay better than hustling on internet for myself, right? Uh, <laughs> sure, sure does. <laughs> Can you tell us how much of a cut you take for recovering etheric resources like this? Uh, oh! Yeah, my, my cut. It's... well, it's... Oh, how silly of me, Mia. You work for a company, so you must get a fixed salary plus bonuses. But I guess that's confidential. Uh, yes. I have to keep that a secret. That is very considerate of you, Miss Nekomata. I won't disclose exactly how much it is, then. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Let's not talk about salaries right now, then. Shall we get started with surveying the route? 
Oh, okay. Uh, just let me look up the exact details here. Hey, Freethan. What do you think of this Ollie guy? I was thinking, you get on so great with the cunning hairs. Why would you suddenly want to switch careers? But I get it. You said all that on purpose. <laughs> I feel like he's a little weird. He talked about working with this company, but his story's full of holes. It's obvious he's not familiar with them. What do you think, Broxy? He seems like a fake. Maybe he's just a punk who got a tip off and is trying to hustle some money from down in a hollow. Hmm, I thought so too. Working with you sure saves a lot of hassle. But I'm confused about why he's still forcing himself to come in here when he's obviously terrified. There must be something going on behind the scenes. Maybe there's a big score waiting to be revealed. In any case, let's finish up this commission with him, then find a way to figure out what's really going on. I've confirmed the surveyed route. Please stick together. Stay on my heels. Mr. Ollie, about your company. Whoa, wait a minute, what's a noise? Would you go check ahead? Master, Ollie refuses to proceed due to an unusual acoustic occurrence. I suggest you go and investigate. That's not an enemy. We should get out of here. Uh, over there! Talking about work, Mr. Ollie. What do you... What's that? Oh, there's something wobbling around. Straight ahead. Can you go check? Master. There is an unknown object moving around in the ruins ahead. Ollie is scared stiff and unable to continue. Please head there and investigate. Can't wait to go shopping after getting my pay. There is some writing on the wall ahead. Ollie believes this may be a useful marker. Proceed forward, do check it out. Too scary. We should get out of here. Uh, over there! Let me handle that locked door ahead. I forgot to bring the key card. Seems like we can open the door with that button. Can you... <clears throat> can, can you please go take a look?
The door's open. We should go this way now. Yeah. It should be safe around here. Oh, why are Ethereal's here all of a sudden? <laughs> Take care of them. I'm begging you. Is right up there. Uh, how can there be so many? They may be small, but I've got a weird feeling about this. Ah, there! That's a big one! Oh, is it really that scary? I'll get rid of them. That's a wrap for the commission, thanks to the both of you. Couldn't have gotten it all done today without you. <laughs> As for your payment, once we exit the hollow, <clears throat> I'll have funds transferred to Miss Nekomata's internet account. Oh, and uh, don't worry, I'll be putting in a good word for you two back at the company. Okay, we're counting on you, Mia. Now that our business is done and dusted, <clears throat> shall we head out of the hollow now? No problem. Me and the proxy will find the fastest and safest route out of the hollow. This is how a proxy makes a living, so we can't let you listen in. Sorry about that. I understand. I'll just 
Stand over there and turn my back to you. You can trust me. Darn it. I was so busy and flustered the whole time I never got around to asking this guy about his true purpose and identity. Uh, I don't have time. We have to leave a hollow soon and then everyone will go their separate ways. Nekomada, to be clear, getting info through torture isn't allowed. Come on, I know that. Even if he's hiding something, he's still the client. Besides, just because I was taken in by a street gang doesn't mean I'm gonna do stuff like that. Hmm. Proxy. Speaking of street gangs, that reminds me. It's time to use my secret ability. Watch this. Let me see what this so-called guide Ollie has on him. Huh? Wait, these are... handcuffs? Uh, please respect other people's... hobbies, Nekomata. Put that back, it's private. Hold up, Belle. Fairy just detected a string of numbers on the handcuffs that match the same format used by public security. What? These handcuffs belong to a public security officer? Um, Miss Nekomata! Proxy! How's, how's your chat going? I, uh, I think I can hear some ethereals nearby. Ah, what are my handcuffs doing over? Uh, I mean, they're not my, my not handcuff. Oh. Tell us the truth, Ollie. Why do you have public security handcuffs on you? It's that I found those handcuffs. Oh, so you just found them somewhere. Well then, that's completely fine, yeah? <laughs> well now, Ollie. I took you for a rookie thief judging by the way you cowered like a chicken in the hollow. I never thought you'd steal something from a public security officer. I thought I could get a nice score from your commission. It seems we ought to be grateful you haven't landed us in even more trouble. And these handcuffs that you just found? What kind of incompetent officer would lose their own equipment? Any cop who lets you take their cuffs off them must be a real weakling. Please, please don't insult public security officers. A public security officer has to grit his teeth and endure arduous training. They have to stay up all night studying for exams, has to struggle to pass the strictest of screening. Only then can he become an officer. Why are you getting all virtuous all of a sudden? Hold up, don't interrupt me. We want the truth, and get on with it. Who are you really, and why did you post a fake commission through a fake company? It's... Uh, I... I can't tell you. Can't tell us? Are you still not grasping the situation? Hmm, let me see. Since you're not cooperating, I guess I'll just have to throw you to the ethereals in here. Oh boy, we killed so many of their friends today. I think they're gonna be real happy to see you. Right? <laughs> How about now? Ready to talk? I... I won't tell. Even if you feed me to the Ethereals, I won't. What is up with this guy? He's scared out of his wits, but he still won't talk. Hold on, Nekomata. I've just matched the serial number from these handcuffs to an officer. Ollie, male. Team 4, Criminal Investigations Division at Janus 12th Precinct. That's who this guy is. Huh? No way. This guy is actually a public security officer? We've made it out. Well, Ollie? I mean, officer? You said you wouldn't hold us liable before. So let's say our goodbyes right here, then. Please, uh, please, wait. Miss Nekomata, before you leave, can you reassure me that you're both good people and that you will not tell anyone anything about meeting me today? My mission today was top secret. 
I need to make sure no one harboring ulterior motives learns this information. Okay, okay, don't worry. If we had any ulterior motives, we would have snuck off and left you with the Ethereals way back when we first realized you weren't who you claimed to be. Oh, I see, of course, that makes sense. Uh, wait, you knew I wasn't with the company all along? Can I be honest? Ollie, your acting is really, really bad. Honestly, how could your boss or your coworkers let you go alone on a mission like this? Because this operation was at my personal request. <sighs> I've been a public security officer for years now, but I still can't get over my phobia of ethereals. I've screwed up a few operations, and these days, I always get benched. There's been this really tough case, and we're short of leads. I thought maybe we could use Internaut to lure in our culprit with some crime-related info. If the plan worked, I'd be able to take credit for it, even if I wasn't involved with the operation later on. If I was lucky, I might even have gotten a certificate. I wouldn't have taken you for someone so driven by personal gain. Uh... That's my boss on the phone. One second. Uh, hello? Uh, boss, it's Ollie. Where are you? Did you post to Internaut pretending to be a company going into a hollow? I, uh, I, that, it, it wasn't on purpose. But please, please, please don't fire me. Fire you? Why would I fire you? You did great. If we can crack this case, you'll take first merit for it and land a handsome bonus. Get back to the precinct and get yourself ready for the next operation. My boss praised me. All these years, my boss has finally praised me. Did you hear that? Not only do I get to keep going out with them on operations, but I might even get a bonus. Oh, congratulations. <sighs> what, what am I going to do? You were just so happy. Why the long face? Going on future operations with them means I definitely have to go back into a hollow again. And I'll mess things up as soon as we run into any ethereals. You'll just have to work it out for yourself. Proxy, let's go! Wait, wait a sec! Miss Nekomata, Proxy, this may be a bit forward, but would you please consider becoming case consultants for public security and helping me to complete the mission? Huh? You know the truth about my internaut commission. Making you case consultants feels much safer than just relying on a verbal promise. Uh, and what's more, based on our previous adventure, when it comes to Hollows, I can tell your abilities are far superior to mine. With your support, all those things I couldn't do before, they don't have to be pipe dreams any longer. This time, I really just might get a bonus. Uh, then if we say no, what are you gonna do? If you really won't say yes, then... Then I can only bid farewell to my Medal of Honor with tears in my eyes. And ask you once again to keep this confidential. Yeah? That... that's it? I thought you were gonna hold us responsible if we didn't cooperate. I'd never go back on my word. I swear it on my honor as an officer. Uh, I gotta say... He really is just... <sighs> Fine, Ollie. I reluctantly agree to this commission of yours, or your request for us to be case consultants, or whatever. <sighs> really? But on one condition. We charge a high fee. If we help you complete the mission, your entire bonus is ours. That's fine with me. I'd rather have the prestige over any bonus. <laughs> Great. Then let's do it. Alright then, Proxy. Today's matter is settled. Let's head back. Huh? Why are you looking at me like that? It feels weird. Nekomata, were you serious about what you said to Ollie? So what? I agreed to his request. What's so unbelievable about that? Don't worry, I won't lose us any money. I've heard that they pay out pretty decent bonuses. And if he's so willing to give up the whole thing, then why not? And Dolly might seem unreliable, 
but there were several times today when he surprised me. Perhaps there's more to this guy than meets the eye? Anyway, let's just wait for him to contact us if we're gonna be supporting him. We can talk about his case then. These gangsters have been looting lost ether resources all over the hollows for quite some time. Their methods are cruel, and they've amassed a substantial fortune. No precinct in any jurisdiction has been able to pin them down because they roam around. So the case remains unsolved. So here's what I'm thinking. First of all, we put out the word on Internaut that there's a large commission to recover ether resources. The commission which you and the proxy got involved with last time. Then. We use ether resources from our evidence room as bait and set a trap by placing them in the hollow. Finally, we wait for the gangsters to take the bait and then apprehend them all inside the hollow. Sounds pretty solid. Then what? Okay, well, then, then we officially adopt this as our battle plan. Oh, well then then, it seems like you have a real talent for organizing plans. It's just... 11th Precinct also wants in. And I've been promoted to head up the joint operation. Why did you say just? You're starting to make me nervous. You see, only the 11th Precinct has access to the ether resources and evidence. I'm about to go undercover into the hollow to set up the trap with two strangers from the General Affairs Department who I've never even met before. And my weakness will be exposed the second we run into any ethereals. And they won't exactly help me hide it. And then once my boss hears about it, I'm betting once again I'll... So what? It's not like I can go meet them in your place. Cry and beg all you want, but I'm not gonna do anything that risky. Uh, uh, of course. <laughs> I'd never dream of getting you to do such a thing, Miss Nekomata. As a case consultant, I just need you to take care of any ethereals along the way, so we can safely lay our bait. Case consultant? Sounds more like a bodyguard. Oh, not at all. Think of it as being temporary, unofficial personnel for public security. <laughs> I've already filled in everyone back at the precinct about the case consultant who will be helping out with the operation. Uh, it's really stressful working on an operation alongside this many officers. I kind of regret agreeing to help you. Oh, please don't say that. This operation really needs you, Miss Nekomata. What if we use remote comms to keep in touch, and you can help me from a little further away? Then you won't have to talk to the other officers. Hmm... If that's an option, then I'll consider doing it. By the way, this case consultant thing, is there anything else I need to know about? As you're effectively temporary unofficial personnel for public security, you'll need to comply with basically the same rules that current officers do. You'll be fine. You just need to memorize this simple 476-page new officer training manual. Uh... Is something wrong? I know what to do, so just leave everything to me. And so that 
That's what happened when I met Ollie just now. Hang on. Did you memorize that mere 476 pages? Of course not. Who'd want to learn how to be a public security officer by reading all that? All I have to do is work with the officers from public security. It's no big deal. I'll just brush up on a few things beforehand. There's still some time before Ollie's mission, so I'll go study nearby and give you a buzz when it's time to go. She's gone. She said she was going to study nearby. I don't exactly know how, though. Bell, why don't you go check on her? After all, you'll be going into the hollow together, so it's best we know what's going on. I only have nothing to fear. The cunning hairs are. I only have touch my tail. And uh, now. Ollie? I'm with the proxy at the coordinates you sent. 
That's great. So, once I meet with the officers from the 11th Precinct, you just need to follow us in parallel from a distance. If anything happens, I'll uh, request your immediate support through comms. Just when the time comes, be quick about it instead of exercising your lung capacity. I... Uh, I'll try my best to hold it in. <clears throat> After all, the other officers of the 11th Precinct will be with me. I hear footsteps. Sounds like the other officers have arrived on your end. Good. Let's stay in touch. Hey, but I... I haven't seen anyone else here yet. Master, two young humans have been detected near you. Huh? Hey, Holly. There are two people approaching me over here. What's going on? Uh, that's impossible. I know I sent the correct meet of coordinates to the 11th precinct. Uh, I'll pull up the chat history. Oh, no. I did send the wrong one. I sent your coordinates instead. What are we going to do? I was just about to ask you that. Um, g g get out of there before they see you. They won't be able to keep up with you. I haven't done anything wrong. Why should I have to run? Besides, what happens to the operation if I leave? The operation. The operation. I'll just go back and confess to my boss about my ethereal phobia. It's fine. At the very worst, they'll just take command of the operation from me. In any case, I'll take full responsibility. I would never create difficulties for you. Ali, it's great to hear that you're so loyal. But if you could not screw things up from the get-go, that would be even better. Now's not the time for this, Bell. I need to plan out a route, so hurry up and decide. Don't worry, Proxy. I'll handle this. Looks like I'll have to show off my skills for my old profession. Consider this a free lesson, Ollie. Watch and learn. The rendezvous point should be close by. Hmm, is that a girl over there? Did we get something wrong? Hey, are you two from the next precinct over? You're in the right place. Codename Operation Watch and Wait. I'm Ollie from Team 4 Criminal Investigations at the 12th Precinct, and I'm in charge of today's operation. <gasps> yes, ma'am. I'm Delaney from General Affairs at the 11th Precinct, and this is Huggins. We humbly apologize if we caused any offense just now. We'll cooperate in full and carry out all orders to finish the mission. You don't have to be so formal. We've never met, and it's an undercover sting. So it's completely normal to be guarded about anyone nearby the meeting point. And without 11th Precinct support, we could never carry out this operation. So I should be thanking you. I didn't think you'd be so young, Officer Ollie. Or so easygoing. When I heard the name Ollie, I imagined an old guy in a stained tan suit with heavy bags under his eyes. Uh, 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 <coughs> Oh, they're talking about me. <laughs> this guy has a very specific imagination. I'm sorry, ma'am. Huggins is just like that. And what were you just saying about being specific? Oh, what I mean is, everyone's here now, so let's hurry up and be specific in our mission. Roger. We've already marked out several alternative coordinates, so please come with us. We fooled them. We actually fooled them! <laughs> Don't relax just yet, Ollie. That was just the beginning. They're gonna have more questions along the way. The real test is only just getting started. Anyway, find somewhere safe nearby to hide and keep an eye on things. If I need info from you, be ready to tell me quickly. Understand? Right. Understood. Officer. We've already marked three deployment points. This is the first location. This is the second. And this is the final one. Very well. We'll go investigate as per usual. Hollows are unpredictable. Stay close to me. Watch your step! 
Avoid the ethereals! We've reached the deployment point. Setting up the bait now. Wait. I hear something strange. How come there are so many ethereals here? took them all out quickly, Ollie. I barely had a chance to react. Yeah, no wonder your average combat scores at the 12th Precinct were higher than ours last month. Turns out it's all because of you. Oh, come on, you're all exaggerating. We're only up on you by 0.2 points. Man combat scores are really only for internal use anyway. They're worth nada in the real world. Your Precinct's high rate of closing cases? Now that a real achievement. Yeah? Didn't I hear you all cracked a whopper of a case a little while back, though? You're probably thinking of those inner district raids carried out by the 14th Precinct, right? Well, we can't take any credit for that. Ah, uh, I see. That's a real shame. Right? If we don't catch these gangsters and their ether loot, then I don't know what I'm gonna write in my annual report this year. Wow, even an elite officer like yourself has to worry about writing reports. I feel like you're one of us now. It's much harder being a desk jockey than catching criminals in the hollows. But the word limit for reports this year has been reduced, thanks to all the spam your precinct put out last time. <sighs> that was actually Huggins over here. In his report, he wrote out 20 times, being a public security officer is the greatest job in the whole world. Becoming a better officer is my core meaning in life. D Delini, you swore you'd never tell anyone about that. Anyway, it's better than what you wrote. If you can't afford to raise my salary, I hope you raise my pension by 20%. But that's what I really thought. <laughs> you two are sure interesting. Huh. I never expected Miss Nekomata to know so much about our inner precinct gossip. It's like I didn't even need to come along at all. Isn't that a good thing? Why you can't know self-pitying? Officer Ollie, what's that about pity? <clears throat> I meant, there's nowhere good to place those ether resources here. And that's a real pity. Ah, uh, you're right. Let's push on and check out our next option then. We probably shouldn't deploy here. It's too dangerous. Next, let's go over there. The 
space here seems pretty unstable. We've reached the deployment point. Setting up the bait now. Master, a hollow shift has just occurred. You are now in an area affected by spatial distortion. Great. A hollow shift wasn't part of our plan. Don't panic. That's normal. I've dealt with it. Master, we found an old projector. I can play its memory data for you. I have discovered a note. I suggest picking it up and taking a look. The note reads, Red is a liar. One of the first two locations would surely be suitable. Lucky we didn't spend too much time on them. Oh, it's so nice to have such an elite on the team. Officer Ollie, you've achieved incredible success at such a young age. Could you tell us which school you graduated from? Which school? <clears throat> oh, right. This is me. Argyle's campus. Yeah, it was Argyle's campus. Hey! Isn't that the school where tuition is free? Huggins, watch your mouth! Sorry, Officer Ollie. Huggins didn't mean anything bad about your old school. It's just, you're so skilled, we thought you must be from an elite academy. So which year did you graduate? Oh, that's me again. Class of 45. Class of 45. Huh? 45? Wasn't that years ago? The graduates from that class must be nearly 40 now, right? Yeah, but ma'am, you don't even look 30, let alone 40. Uh... 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 This 
might be difficult, Belle, but now's not the time to go blank. Hurry up and think of something. Hang on. Officer Ollie, could it be that your real identity is in fact... M my real identity? A child prodigy who skipped grades to get into the academy super early for her age? Huh? Uh... Huh? You got me! I can't hide anything from you. I was actually an orphan who was taken in. My foster mom was always so kind to me, but she made some bad investments. So her finances were never good. Ah, I see. So you're the oldest in a family with lots of foster siblings. You lived in a tiny house at the mercy of the elements, your whole family squeezed into but a single bed. As the oldest kid, you'd secretly eat moldy crusts while carving off the good bits of bread to share with a smile for your younger siblings. Wow, sounds like an old soap opera. That's why! To keep costs down at home, you chose to enroll at the Argyles campus, which has lower age limits and free tuition! Actually, you pretty much nailed it. But lots of company-affiliated schools have free enrollment, too. Why'd you decide to become a public security officer? Hmm, well, before I went into foster care, I wasn't a good kid. This one time, I overestimated my abilities against a really bad person, and nearly ended up losing my life for nothing. But even with all that, someone still stood up for me, protected me, and accepted me. It might have been unintentional, but for me it was like coming home to a dream home. So if I could, I also wanted to protect something with my own hands. To pay it forward. <laughs> I understand. You chose to become a public security officer to protect others. <laughs> no wonder you're in charge of this operation at such a young age. Your morals are beyond reproach. I only became an officer to show up to the ladies. I'm just a piece of dirt compared to you. <sighs> After hearing about your past, I realize I really don't have any dreams of my own. I only took this job for its pension perks. Uh, don't be like that. I think it's good to have dreams based in reality. Besides, our reasoning for joining the Force might be different. But aren't we all fighting to protect this city, day in, day out? Wow, Officer Ollie, you're so kind. As a fellow public security officer, I'm filled with pride. I'll have to redouble my efforts to be deserving of such words. Sorry, ma'am. Huggins gets emotional easily. Don't mind him. Let's push on and check out the next location. This area is prone to spatial displacement. Not a good spot. Let's head to another deployment point. Master, I haven't detected any anomalies here. This location is suitable to place bait. Reporting in, Officer Ollie. Our ether resource trap has been set. Great work. <sighs> so it's done. I didn't think talking with those two would be so tiring. Really? You obviously had no issues with it, Miss Nekomata. And what's more, the thing you said just now about using your hands to protect something, it was just like the real thing. If I didn't know you were just pretending to be me, I might have been moved to tears just like Huggins. <laughs> Wanna know why your acting skills were so bad before, Ali? Why? It's because the key to a good disguise is to never completely make everything a lie. You need real experience, or else they'll see through you. Your words will lack conviction. You have to understand the character you're playing. Adding a hint of real life experience works best. Balancing truth and fiction. <gasps> so that's it. No wonder your story was so touching. It's because it's a true story. Hey, don't just assume other people's experiences. I said add a hint. Anyway... If you hadn't messed up giving up the info, I wouldn't have had to go through all the trouble. 
I'm so sorry, truly. Hang on, I think I hear something nearby. Ah! Huh? Oh wait, did you got me? What's going on? Warning, large numbers of ethereals are converging near the client's location. Hypothesis. This area experiences spatial anomalies that teleport in ethereals from other locations. What? Now of all times? I'll come up with something. As long as he can hold them off for a few minutes. What do you mean by come up with something? Officer Ollie, you've seemed a little absent-minded right from the get-go. That's... Ahem. You're right. I've actually had something on my mind. The key to this whole watching weight operation revolves around whether or not these gangsters actually take the ether bait we've laid out for them. That's why I think before we withdraw, we should check nearby for signs of anyone suspicious. To guarantee that nobody notices anything about today's operation. Gangsters can be tricky after all. Ah, I see. Drawing on such rich experience? No wonder you're leading the operation. It's just... You've helped me out so much today running around these hollows. And now, I'm asking you to go the extra mile. It feels... bad. No, really, it's nothing. Guaranteeing safe operations is what public security officers do. It sure is. I have the greatest respect for you, Officer Ollie, so just give us the order. All right, here's what we'll do. We're gonna split into two groups and search for signs of anything suspicious nearby. If we find anything, radio the other team. Yes, ma'am. So we'll go that way. I'm with you. Proxy, we have to go rescue Ollie. Definitely Ollie's footprints. <gasps> There's so many ethereals teleporting here. This doesn't look like it. I hope he can hang in there. Do you really think some of the ethereals can stop me? This is a room. Holly must be close. These ethereals are never ending. Six. has failed all because of me? It hasn't failed. I managed to think up a way to send those two off. <sighs> I'm completely exhausted. You know, you better take responsibility for turning a simple operation into such a mess. If you can't crack the case and get our commission fee, I'll never let you off the hook. You got that? <laughs> Ollie? Ollie! I feel like Ollie's a little bummed out. Am I imagining things? You're not wrong, Proxy. It's because I can't stop wondering. Has teaming up with you all, or rather my idea of receiving a commendation, been unrealistic from the start? Watching how you handled things over the course of the operation today left me thinking. You can easily deal with anything that gets thrown at you, but I've only caused you trouble. 
I got the meeting place wrong, I can't even protect myself from ethereals, and I can't even provide you with the right intel when you need it. Hey, Ollie! That's enough grumbling for now, okay? Nobody can easily handle every single thing that gets thrown at them. Didn't I tell you before? I almost ended up losing my life for nothing thanks to one bad guy. I wasn't lying about that. So there's actually lots of things I can't do. There are traces of ethereals all around you, Ollie. You must have wiped them out in a panic, right? Uh, really? I didn't even notice. Ollie, you were the one who came up with using internet against these gangsters. You were the one leading this operation, and you were the one who took down these ethereals just now. Who kept yourself alive until we got here. Don't you get it? You're nowhere near as bad as you think. Stop being so hard on yourself. And turn your personal experience and your personality into your very own secret weapon. Huh? It's a message from those other officers. Yes, this is Ollie. What's going on? Ma'am, your intuition and foresight are truly remarkable. Huh? Ma'am, not long after we split up, we spotted this sneaky figure around the setup point, so we apprehended him immediately. This kid was dressed up like a gangster. He might have something to do with the gang we're looking for. Where are you right now? We'll head to you immediately, and we can go to the 12th precinct together. What? Go into the precinct together? Delaney, Huggins, wait a sec. I'm really far away from you right now. Why don't you take him back to the 11th precinct? That, uh, it wouldn't be proper. It's totally fine. You two apprehended the suspect, so the credit's all yours. You should take him back to the 11th precinct for interrogation. Go on now, quickly! I've just taken on another assignment. I'll be watching closely as to how your interrogation goes. Good luck! All right. Thank you, ma'am. Great work. That's weird. I only mentioned it offhand. I never thought they'd actually catch a criminal. If you go back with them to their precinct, Dolly, it'll blow our cover. So we have to give them the credit for this arrest. But I'm a little anxious about the outcome of the interrogation. So dust yourself off and hurry back to your precinct. Contact me the moment you hear anything. Okay, you got it. Ollie's already headed off. Let's call it a day as well. <sighs> I'm so tired. Forgive me for not taking Eos back. I never expected you to be such a good teacher, Nekomata. Hey, come on. What are you saying? Oh, even my ears are blushing. I mean, we put in a lot of work today. If we leave them now, we'd be throwing away our investment. How can I put this? Whenever I used to see a public security officer, I would just avoid them. But after working with these two, I realized they're just a bunch of average Joes. You've also been running around all day, Proxy. Thanks. I bet we'll be getting a message from Ollie sometime soon. Let's get some rest for now. I'll contact you if I hear anything.
Mr. Komara, 11th Precinct has sent over the results of their interrogation. That sneaky dude they found lurking around the hollows is actually from the gang we're going after. He's already flipped. He told us how they sent him out to snoop around because they'd heard about and were interested in our bait. Oh, and under what circumstances did he give up this information? Uh huh? Why do you ask? Is that important? Of course! If he keeps silent, then there's definitely a connection. But if he gets suddenly angry, then perhaps you misread the situation. Or perhaps you're completely right. If he keeps saying, I can't say, it means there are conditions you have to meet before he'll talk. A gang member capable of hollow exploration like this is certainly no amateur. If he won't spill everything out of desperation, you should be very skeptical about anything he says. Oh, you're so knowledgeable! But the interrogation was carried out by the 11th Precinct, so we only have access to the written report. There's no way of knowing the specifics of the interrogation. And there's something else that's troublesome. If this guy doesn't report back to his gang, it might expose our trap. So, to avoid that possibility, the Precinct decided to immediately use him in a sting to catch the rest of his gang. They asked him to leak info to his gang, saying that the Ether resources are legit, and the gangs decided to make a move on it. Oh, meow. Something about this operation still seems fishy to me. I'll just have to bite my tail and go with the flow for now. That's everything that happened. According to that gang member, the gang tends to use a pretty large group for the robbery. There's a small team of three to four individuals assigned to handle the transportation and disposal of the stolen goods once the job is done. Ollie's mission this time is to lead a small team along with a defected gang member and capture those involved in fencing the stolen goods. They'll head to the Hollow in a little while to carry out the mission. Ollie's going to lead a team into the Hollow himself? What if he runs into Ethereals? He says he's been training in the simulator ever since we got out last time. And this time he's got a team with him, so it should be okay. I've already talked to him. This time we're gonna follow him at a distance and play things by ear. If he needs our help with anything, he'll find a way to message us in secret. I only handle need something. My services are expensive. I only touch my tail. And now. Reporting in, Officer Ollie. Our team and the main force at the resource point are all in position. Operation Watch and Wait is ready to go. Over. Roger that. All right, Alberto. You're our informant, so it's time for you to take the stage. Yeah, give your boss a call. Y yes, sir. H Hello? Yeah, boss, it's me. Alberto. Glad you still remember who's boss. My patience was seconds away from wearing thin after not hearing from you in so long. Sorry, boss. I had a problem with my carrot, and only just got it fixed. B but it's all sorted now. <clears throat> you better not mess this up. I've got the location that you sent over. Is it the right place? Don't worry. I got the scoop when I was out gathering intel last time. All right. We're gonna get the goods now. You go meet up with the vehicles. Out. I did everything you said, sir. Okay. <laughs> uh, next, you'll take us to the ones responsible for selling the stolen goods. Proxy, Ali's group is about to get moving. We should get going, too. Master, please remotely assist Ali in reaching his destination. I have updated your system with Ali's location. Please make sure that the path you take with Ollie is unobstructed. Their path out is blocked by an iron gate. Detected. An electrical switch that controls the door. I've marked the location of the switch in your system. 
It's open! Your virtual assistant is useful after all. Over there, so Ollie will know he should switch caps. <sighs> Miss Nikomata, your help from afar is invaluable. No worries, just keep going. Leave the rest to me. Take it. Seems like we're good to go. Looks like someone's sneaking up behind Ollie and company. Trap. 
What? What's going on? I thought there were only supposed to be a few of them covering the sail. What are all these guys doing here? This isn't good. We're outgunned. Everyone, calm. Just calm down and get ready to... Yeah, make a break for it! Don't you think it's a little late for that? <laughs> Boss, we rounded up the officers, except for the one leading them. So... This is... This is what you had planned all along! <laughs> of course it's a trap! Never thought the hunter would become the hunted, did you? You... You... Don't tell me you... <laughs> We're a gang making a living stealing ether resources. We always know where the grass is greener. Killer job like that pops up on Internet? <laughs> you better believe we're gonna look into it. If you ask me, your mistake was being way too eager to get what you want. <laughs> and trusting the word of a gangster. Anyway, we'd be rude not to accept such a fine gift from public security. Right? What are you... What are you gonna do? <laughs> Already shaking with fear. Now, how did a coward like you end up making captain? Hm? All right, Captain. It's time for you to take the stage. Call up your main force and come up with a reason for them to withdraw from the resource site. What? No. No way. I won't. No. Do you still not understand the gravity of the situation? Help us get this batch of ether resources, and I'll let you live. Isn't that a good deal? Or, would you rather wait here with these officers, waiting to be fed to the ethereals? Ah, ethereals! No, don't! You can't feed me to an ethereal! <laughs> hey, boss! I think Ethereals really freaked this guy out. Captain, call up your guys right now. The boss's patience is running out. No, I... I can't do that. Huh? I... I don't want to be eaten by an Ethereal, but... I... I don't want to lose my job either. If I help you contact the main force, I'll be fired and my life will be completely ruined. So what you're saying is, it's better to just end everything here and now. No, I... God, that's not what I meant either! God, what... What I'm saying is, I know another way to get the etheric resources without having to involve the other officers. Huh. Is that a fact? Sure you're not just... Uh, making stuff up? Of course not! Please! Please, trust me. I'm an orphan, and was adopted as a kid. I brought up a whole load of siblings all unrelated to me, and I suffered so much over the years. I thought becoming a public security officer would mean having a decent job. But after all these years in the department, I've mostly just been sitting on the sidelines. I'm not that young anymore, and this operation might be the last chance I ever get. But seeing as it's doomed anyway, I should really think about myself first and foremost. As long as the department doesn't know I'm responsible, the blame won't fall on me even if the ether resources are lost. How surprising. The kid really does have some will to live. <laughs> Alright then, lead the way. Damn it, I knew something smelled fishy! He was all a setup! The gangsters tricked Ollie! Well, it's already happened. So all we can do now is adapt and respond. But Nekomata, Bell, what do you think about what Ollie just said? Ollie. He couldn't have switched sides to the gangsters, could he? No, there's no way. Remember? Back when we first met Ollie, he was terrified. But he still didn't reveal he was actually a public security officer. Yeah, like she said, he may be unreliable, but he's got more backbone than I expected. And what he was saying to the gangster boss, don't you think it sounded familiar? He's a bright guy. 
He's definitely planning something. Let's follow him and see what he's up to. Come with me. Over there. So well behaved. Keep an eye on the area for me. Where's Ollie taking the gang members? Proxy, let's catch up! Are you trying to tell us to use the switch? Okay, we're here. We've arrived at our destination. Hey. What is this place? This seems pretty far from where you stash your etheric resources. Please, just hear me out for a moment. When I was out here earlier, laying out the resources, I, I discovered this weird spatial displacement phenomenon nearby, happening intermittently. Are you saying all we have to do is just wait here, and a spatial displacement will bring etheric resources to us from who knows where? Yes, just, just a little bit longer, and a miracle... Is going to happen. Huh? What's the matter? Why are you getting all sweaty? What's that sound? Boss, this... This isn't good. Ethereals! There's so many. Where'd they all come from? I... I can't take it anymore! <laughs> Ethereals! <laughs> Well, he took those gangsters to where he got attacked last time! Looks like he's trying to use the Ethereals to weaken the gangsters, to create an opportunity for us. We shouldn't let his efforts go to waste. Come on, let's get after him! They're 
And the gang members won't let him go. Let's hurry up! We... we finally wiped out all the ethereals, boss. Where'd that sneaky little cop get to, Alberto? How dare he try this kind of stunt on me? I'm gonna skin him alive. He's over here. We've got him. Come here. <coughs> it took you for a jittery coward before. I didn't think you had the guts. You let us to that horde of ethereals hoping they'd take us out. Bet you never thought a bunch of gangsters like us could take them all out, huh? No. I actually thought of that, but I... I knew this would be enough. What do you mean? Make some sense! What do you mean, then? Now I can take you out all by myself! Huh? You guys wanna play, too? Don't blame me if you get hurt. Let this out wide open! Over here! He's heading that way! Get him down! Is that all you got? Get him! Move it right here! Yes, You can't escape! Take this! Finally stopped? I'll try my claws! seen so many ethereals. Those gangsters almost tore you to pieces, but you're still fixated on the ethereals? Like you really are something. But anyway, you did a pretty good job just now, Ollie. Your heroics today were impressive, Ollie. <laughs> well, you know, now that I think about it, that really was kind of unbelievable, wasn't it? My mind just about went blank once I realized we've been double-crossed. 
And I don't know why, but I suddenly thought of what Miss Nekomata said before. Turn your personal experience and your personality into your very own secret weapon. So you figured out the way I do things and trick those gangsters the same way I would have? Great work! And thanks to your quick thinking, your lies went a whole lot more smoothly this time. It's because what I said wasn't all lies. Yeah? Well, didn't you tell me that it's best to mix in some of your own personal experience if you want to get someone to believe your lies? Well, I really am an orphan. I was the oldest kid at the orphanage, and I really did have to more or less raise a whole load of siblings, all unrelated to me. The reason I chose Argyles was because of the free tuition, due to family finances. If your finances were so bad, why didn't you go to a company-affiliated school? I have heard lots of company-run schools offer scholarships. And with your eager aptitude, you probably would have gotten some more lucrative job offers once you graduated. Some orphans who get out into the real world feel shackled by self-doubt or the distressing memories of their early years. And they happen to find themselves on a path irreversibly in pursuit of money and survival. Uh, of course, I don't mean to say anything bad about people like that. After all, it, it is what it is. But as an older brother, I never want to see my younger siblings like that. I wanted to become a public security officer so I could stand with my head held high and tell them we can all become amazing people. But <laughs> I'm no role model. I've done nothing really after all these years. I mean, I've never even been awarded so much as a simple commendation before. <laughs> no wonder you were so intent on in getting some recognition before. It was all because of this. But I think your wish just might have come true. Huh? Good role models aren't defined by the accommodations they're awarded, but by the actions they take. You showed ingenuity and bravery during the mission. You not only saved public security from losing those ether resources, but you also arrested all those criminals. Are those not the actions of a good role model? Uh, really? I did all that? Sure did. So keep your head up high. Your brothers and sisters, they're all gonna be proud of you too. Anyway, everything's settled for now. So we'll leave the rest of it to you public security officers to handle. Great. Our partnership has reached a successful conclusion. Uh... I don't know if I'll get a bonus this time, but I'll pay both your fees as soon as I get back to the precinct. I'm sure you'll get your bonus. But as for my cut, I don't want it. Uh, huh? <laughs> uh, Miss Nekomata, what are you talking about? I said you don't have to pay me. Just pay the proxy. Take your bonus and buy those kids something nice. Kids who grew up with nothing cherish whatever gifts they're given. This is just... It's just what I found, in my personal experience. In that case, let's split the remainder. But Ollie, we have a condition. Remember what you said today, and keep being a good role model for those kids. Yeah! And if I ever catch even a sniff that you've gone crooked, then you can bet I'll be the first one after you. Thanks so much! I promise, I'll definitely keep up my end of the deal, too. in the store to repay the cutting hairs as debt? No way. I just came by today to bring you some fresh fish. There's no such thing as a free lunch, Nekomata. Don't be so suspicious, you two. They're from Ollie. Ollie sent this? He's a public security officer. Where'd he get so much fish? After he was told he'd be getting his bonus, he said he went back to the orphanage last weekend. He went ahead and told them all the presents were for me, so all the kids went out fishing with him to say thanks. Molly's a good guy getting you your favorite food. Well, yeah, but don't stereotype us sirens. Sometimes we want a little variety. Something nicer. 
like steak or crab legs. Anyway, I've got way too much now, so I want to share some with you. Take half of it. I insist. Uh, and you. What are you doing here? I'm just returning a tape. Ah, oh, proxies. That's a lot of fish. I didn't buy it. It was a gift from Nekomata's friend. Uh... Hey, Ambi, what do you mean by... Huh, exactly. Nothing. It's just a little surprising you have friends who give you gifts. Not like the rest of us cunning hairs. Well, well, of course I do. Because I'm actually super popular. Definitely. Enough to call me a role model for the cunning hairs. Yeah, the very role model of a cunning hair. Huh? You just... agree. Just like that? So? It, it's nothing. Ugh. Why do I feel like all this was a waste of time? I'm going back to the cunning hairs now, Nekomata. You coming? Want me to carry some fish? Okay. We'll be going then, Faithen. See ya! All things considered, the commission ended pretty well. Well, it's fish for dinner tonight.